There may be dozens of people in B.C. tonight who owe their lives to the province's tough new impaired driving laws. The government has released figures showing deaths in alcohol-related crashes since last fall have been cut in half. Those numbers are going a long way to quiet criticism of the legislation from the public and from the restaurant industry. In fact, some Vancouver Island eateries say customers are realizing it's still okay to order a drink with dinner. A News reporter Andrew Johnson joins us live with the details. Andrew? Eric, the province admits there was confusion when the drunk driving laws were introduced last fall, with many people worrying ordering just that one alcoholic drink was one too many. But that may have now changed. Uh, toast to the, my pop. Sharing a drink with Dad on a sunny patio in July, a credit card commercial might call that priceless. For Milestone's general manager, Pat Alibarton, it just spells relief. At first, they overreacted. So people were coming in and just ordering water. Large groups had a designated driver. Particularly elderly people were very afraid to have any alcohol at all. During those first few weeks and months after BC introduced tough new impaired driving legislation, restaurant owners still struggling to cope with the introduction of the HST were preparing for the worst. Definitely a state of panic. We thought, um, based on reactions we on the news or just people coming in that uh, we were in for something fairly fierce. Instead, it seems Vancouver Islanders just needed some time to swallow the new reality on the road. And I think what's changed is now I'd describe us as a one drink town. People got over it pretty quick and people were pretty stubborn about it and said, you know what, we're gonna go if we're gonna go out and you know we want to have a nice drink, yeah, we're just gonna cab or walk. For the restaurant industry's bottom line, one drink is better than none. And for all of us, putting our lives on the line every day traveling BC's roadways, the new legislation appears to be saving lives. After introducing the new laws last fall, the provincial government's goal was to cut impaired driving deaths in BC by 35 percent by 2013. While only 10 months in, the numbers so far look good, very good. You can't really argue with the kind of, with the number of lives that have been saved. Since police were granted greater power to hand out fines and impound vehicles at roadside stops, alcohol-related deaths on the road are down 50 percent. That's 15 people whose lives who are still around living today. And that's 15 families who haven't lost someone that they love. Someone they can still enjoy a drink with on that sunny patio. Eric, the province had indicated it was going to take a look at softening the impaired driving legislation in the face of complaints from the uh, bar and restaurant industry. But given the apparent success of the laws, that's not going to happen. Premier Clark does say she's working on a promotional campaign, promised to restaurants to help inform the public it's still okay to have a drink with dinner. All right, Stephen, uh, Andrew Johnson reporting. Thank you, Andrew.